Always in uniform, but a man who wore many hats. Today, it's a look back at one of the most respected generals in U.S. history, Colin Powell. Philip Townsend has the story new at six. Humble beginnings for General Colin Powell. Raised in South Bronx by parents who immigrated from Jamaica, he became one of the most respected military generals across the political spectrum. It was in 1989 that he first made history, becoming the first black chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest position in the Department of Defense. Going on to make history again as the first black Secretary of State under President George W. Bush. Years earlier, here in 1996, Powell famously challenged fellow Republicans, speaking in favor of affirmative action at the Republican National Convention. Where the scars of past discrimination still contaminate and disfigure the present, we must not close our eyes to it, declare there is a level playing field, and hope that it will go away by itself. It did not in the past, it will not in the future. President Joe Biden describing Powell as a warrior who put country before self. In 2021, he died of complications from COVID-19 while battling cancer and Parkinson's disease. Powell was 84 years old. Owen Powell was a great lion with a big heart. We will miss him terribly. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. Powell also became the first black national security advisor during the end of Ronald Reagan's presidency.